If you're looking for images for a project you're working on, the sheer number of options you have can be overwhelming. But not all images are equally great. The quality out there, well, it ranges a lot. And the last thing you want to do is use a low quality image. But what makes an image low quality? Well, let's take a look at a few of the reasons. First off, there's the quality of the image file itself. If it's a tiny file and you need to make the image larger, you'll hit a point where the larger you go, the more noticeably blurry the thing will get. And a blurry image is definitely low quality. In this case, either keep the image small or replace it with one that's crisp at the size you need it to be. Next, taking an image and stretching just the height or width also lowers its quality. You've probably seen people do this when they need to fit a graphic in a different sized space. And sure, it technically fits, but the image ends up looking really awkward and warped. If you need to change the shape of an image, you're better off cropping it to make it just the right size, or finding a new image that's already the right shape. Then there's the quality of how well your image connects to what you want to talk about. Sure, a picture might be crisp and beautiful, but if it doesn't have a strong connection to your content, or any connection at all, it just confuses people. As far as I'm concerned, you're actually better off with no image than a distracting one. So either find a more connected image, or rework your layout so you don't need a picture. Finally, don't forget that an image can drop in quality if it's dated or overused. Things like these screen bean guys are obvious examples of older graphics that look tacky. And pretty much anything with out-of-date tech or old fashions are another easy thing to spot. But something doesn't have to be ugly or dated to be a problem. You could have the most beautiful images, but if you use them over and over again, people will find them boring. Your quick fixes here are to first, stay away from anything you've seen used too many times by others. A second, avoid anything that's obviously old looking. Well, and that's less of the look you're going for. And third, be thoughtful of how many times you or your team or your company or your client has used an image. Be sure to mix up your bank of images on a regular basis and be okay with retiring your graphics after they've been used a lot. At the end of the day, it's worth being a bit picky with your image choices. Taking a bit of extra time to find just the right images pays off in making your work look noticeably more polished and, let's be honest, more expensive than it might have otherwise.